This getting started video will guide you through the setup of your HVM power analyzer. After this 11 minute exercise, you'll be ready to take your first power measurement. This video will briefly cover the preparations which are needed before you can start. The main display components of the ePower software suite. The basic operation of the ePower software suite. How to set up your power analyzer for the first time. And finally, how to make your first power measurement. Then we'll explain how to store power results and raw data, and how to review these. And we'll finish with a summary after about 11 minutes. So, what needs to be done before you can use your power analyzer? Well, obviously, you need a GenDAC power analyzer. You need to have perception software that comes with the power analyzer installed on your PC. And you need an Ethernet connection between the PC and the power analyzer, which needs an IP address to be set up accordingly. All the sensors to be used need to be in the sensor database of perception. For all HPM sensors, this is already done. And of course, the voltages, currents, torque, and speed signals need to be connected to the power analyzer. If all of that is done, you're ready to start up Perception Software. In case you need help on any of these topics, please refer to the GenDAC or Perception manuals or have a look at the listed Power Analyzer Post Sales Support webpage. Here is a brief layout of the ePower Suite. In the upper left area, there are some tabs called Sheets. These are different screens to look at data or to modify settings. For now, we'll only use the Sheet ePower Suite. The left-hand area of this shows the Control Panel, with its most important portion, the Acquisition Control Buttons. The upper middle portion of the sheet is a representation of the current test map. The upper row shows components, connectors, and connections. Within each connector, the most important meters for the power results at this location are shown. The lower row shows the efficiency blocks for the current test map. The lower left area of the sheet contains a scope display of the traces, while the lower right area includes meters with the computed power results. Here are the basics to use the ePower Suite. A single click on a component or a connector will switch the scope and the meters to displaying traces and power results of this component or connector. A single click in an empty area in the test map switches scope and meters to displaying all traces and results. A single click in an empty area outside the test map brings up buttons to add components or efficiency blocks. This can be used to extend the current test map. A double click on a component, connector, or efficiency block opens the setup panel for this item. In this setup panel, all settings can be modified, like assigning sensors or selecting input spans. You can move from the setup panel of one item straight to the next setup panel by just double clicking inside the next item. To leave a setup panel, use the close button or just click into an empty area of the test map again. By clicking on preview, the power analyzer will show live traces and power results. However, these will not be stored. Clicking on start will show the same traces and results. However, now they will be saved continuously.
remember to click on Stop during a continuous recording or your hard disk will fill up with data. Now you can set up the power analyzer for your first measurement. The default setup already loaded at startup can be used for your first test. The only missing entries are the sensors for current, torque, and speed, and the desired input ranges. Start by double-clicking the OUT connector in the component Power Source to open its Setup panel. Select the current sensor and the desired voltage and current input spans. Then double-click the OUT connector of the inverter component Select the current sensors and the voltage and current spans desired at the inverter output. Finally, double-click the OUT connector of the motor component. Here you need to select two sensors, one for torque and one for speed. And the two desired ranges. Now you can close the Setup panel and you're ready to go. Click on Preview and you'll see traces and meters displaying live data. Select different connectors to see the different traces and power results for these connectors. Make changes to your device under test like increasing the torque to see the changes in the scope and the power meters. Now we'll do a real test, recording data at different load conditions of the electric drive. Enter a name for storing the raw data and power results. Click on Start to begin the recording. If possible, change the drive parameters, for example increase speed, then increase torque, and see the scope and meters displaying new data. Increase speed and torque again, and again see the changes appear in the scope and meters. Finally, decrease both torque and speed. Click on Stop to complete the recording of data. To review stored data, you will no longer use the Sheet ePower suite, which is only for setup and live displays during a test. Instead, select Input Signals to look at raw data first. Initially, the power source voltage and current is shown and we can use the page selector in the lower left corner to switch to other signals like the inverter output. Click on the star icon to display the entire recording in time. And now you can click and drag to zoom into areas of interest. Finally, Right-click and select Unzoom to get back to where you started. Select Power to display recorded power values. You can use the Page Selector again to switch between different pages and select Inverter Out to see all power values, now as traces over time. Again, click the star icon to show all data in time. Now right-click and select Auto All on Current Page to Auto Scale All the Amplitudes. Now we're done with an initial review of stored raw data as well as power values.
Here are a few things to remember. Before changing anything, make sure you're in the stop mode or you'll notice that some changes cannot be made. When you start with one of the predefined setups of the power analyzer, you only need to assign sensors and to select input spans and you're ready to go. After recording data, predefined sheets are used to review stored raw data or power results. From here, you can modify the power analyzer to your needs. You can load other predefined measurement configurations or create your own. You can add your own live or review displays and your own real-time formulas. You can even reanalyze stored data by entering your own custom formulas. The sky is the limit. If you need more help getting started with your HBM Power Analyzer, just book an online or on-site training at the HBM Academy. Check HBM.com for details.